Um, I had a I had a very nice conversation with someone there over a couple drinks, and they go. you know we were talking about the strategy for the the you know like what they're doing with the stadiums, and I I even brought it up I'm like. So I'm like, what's the goal? Like, you guys are you guys are planning on selling out money in the bank? Like, I, and I kind of said it tongue in cheek, and yeah, you know, there were two people there, and they looked at me like I'm an idiot. They're like, no, 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 not at all. That's not uh, that's not the approach here. And I'm 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 assuming this is the Nick Khan approach. It actually is a Nick Khan approach. Anything over twenty five thousand people, where are you going? And you know, for these big pay per views, like Money in the Bank, Money in the Bank is being positioned as the, you know a premium pay per view or P, a mm-hmm. premium a PPLE. A premium, premium live event. Uh, they they want to be in stadiums for these. Like a money, I think Money in the Bank is going to be in a stadium moving forward. Wow. Uh, I can't see them going back on this, but you know, they're so it's like it one of the big 000. five now. It's I guess it's one yeah, of the big like, six. Big six, I guess. Right, Money in the Bank, uh, the Saudi shows. Oh wow, uh, I forgot about the Saudi Rumble, shows. Rumble, uh, Mania, SummerSlam, Su- SummerSlam, Survivor Series. So you got six there. Yeah. I so the idea is they don't want to do these big pay per views in thirteen thousand person arenas, right? Because the arenas have all gotten smaller, and you have the garden behind you. The garden used to do like twenty thousand people, eighteen thousand people, easy, eighteen thousand, seventeen thousand for wrestling. But you can't do that. They've shrunk everything because you want the suites and you want to make money with all that stuff. And the giant stage I, and the giant screen yeah, gives you less yeah. seats as well. So I don't. I can't imagine them doing this for Survivor Series, but I, I would imagine all the other big pay per views are going in stadiums. And the goal isn't to sell at sixty thousand. If they can, they will. The goal is to go above twenty five, mm-hmm. twenty five, twenty eight, thirty, thirty five. Because there's still the money, the deals that they get on these stadiums. It's not like well, we can't afford to go into a sixty thousand person building with only thirty thousand people. It doesn't work like that. These buildings are now scalable. All of them, yeah. all these stadiums, essentially the arena, you know, so they, they're thinking outside the box. And I think this is, uh, you know, great business. I mean, this is another approach that's different from the typical Vince McMahon approach where, you know, Vince would want to sell out. If you're not selling out, it's a failure. If you're not close mm-hmm. to selling out, it's a failure. I mean, that's why we see with WrestleMania, the numbers are so inflated. I think with Nick, it's a little bit different where he's thinking, well, think about it this way. If you could get another 10,000 to 15,000 people in this building, why wouldn't you? Yeah. So that, I that's would, an I interesting would imagine thing. this is Yeah. So from a strategy standpoint, you're a marketing guy. Uh is it also the public perception? And I'm not talking about wrestling fans' public perception. I'm talking about sports public perception. WWE running a sixty thousand seat arena, if they fill thirty five thousand of those tickets to the sports business media and fan base at large, that seems like a bigger deal than selling out 17,000 seat arena basketball. Arena. Yeah. Is that, is that somewhat yeah, part of it as well? Interesting. That, that's part of it. Um, but the financials is also part of it, right? Cause you you're just doubling your revenue. You you've doubled your, du- you're doubling your revenue for the gate and, and merchandise sales because you've doubled the attendance. So yeah, you're not going to have 60,000 or 50,000, Maybe not forty five thousand, but maybe you're going to hit thirty, thirty five. How much more expensive is it to rent a stadium versus an arena? I, I I spoke to someone about this that that does it outside of WWE, and they because because there's not so many events. Like, what are you doing in these giant buildings on yeah. a, on a random Saturday, right? Like, they need to use these. They need to turn them over. Um, they they are able to get great rates. I I. I I know that for a fact that some of these buildings that they're looking at, they are able to negotiate phenomenal rents, be- rates or rents, whatever you want to call it, because of the fact that there's nothing else in there. You know, these these owners are not looking at it as, well, I'd rather have nothing if I can't get them. If, if, right. if they're not willing to pay the price for $60,000, i would rather have nothing. No, they want to have it because it brings more prestige to the venue as well. The Garden is known, yeah, obviously for basketball, but for wrestling, it's a big deal. You know, uh, the Rosemont Horizon. I had no idea what the Rosemont Horizon was before <laughs> wrestling. The Cow yeah. Palace, you know, it just it, it it's a reminder to people. And, you know, I I think this is the future for these big shows where, yeah, maybe, you know, when the business is hot, you'll do 50, 60,000 people for a, a SummerSlam. 
or a survivor or a, a Royal Rumble. But when it's not hot, you'll do 35. Royal Rumble, you'll do 40,000. Easy. Very Easy. interesting. That that yeah. that's yeah. That, that's kind that's kind of cool. Uh and I think if uh if you're a casual fan, right? No, no and I, I that's this term people are starting to hate the idea of a casual fan uh in that definition. If my friends who don't pay as close attention to wrestling as me, if I tell them, hey, WWE's coming to Levi's out here, which is a sixty thousand dollar or sixty thousand seat uh stadium, that seems bigger to them than oh, by the way, WWE pay per view is coming to the San Jose uh SAP Center or or whatever where, you know where where they run TV. That's that makes it feel to those people who don't follow that closely as oh this thing must be a bigger deal if they're running this stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's yeah. an interesting that's an interesting thing to I, I wonder if uh if they think about that as well. But look at look at 2022. Look how many stadium shows they're running in 2022 alone. You had uh Royal Rumble, right? You had the Saudi show. You had WrestleMania. You're going to have SummerSlam. You have Money in the Bank. You have the other Saudi show happening late September, early October. I don't know the exact date. Uh, and and then you have the Whale Show. You have seven stadium shows in one year. Yeah. that's that. They've never done that, ever. 